We're intently looking at uh, southwest Syria because the area was taken over by the Syrian regime in July 2018. And what has happened since may offer lessons uh, for other areas that remain under rebel control uh, and, uh, or Kurdish control and may revert to regime control over the coming months. And so what we've seen is that the regime came back uh, forcibly in July with the help of the Russians. Um, there haven't been major reprisals, but also the, the, the security situation remains insecure for, for many former rebels in particular and people who were joining the opposition. Keep in mind that the area was under rebel control for seven years. The Russians have acted to protect to some extent by deploying uh, military police and that has worked to some extent, but we're not clear as to how sustainable this is. Uh, we have also heard uh, that the regime's repressive apparatus is functioning, but we have also heard that in some cases families went to the Russians and said, can you help us? And they did. But how long are the Russians going to stay in the southwest? That's unclear. And as we see other areas return to the regime over the coming period, which is likely, the question really is how Russia will be able and willing to uh, protect people who are going back to regime areas. So there are two other main areas that are currently not under regime control. One is Idlib and the other one is the Northeast. And, and the outlook of these two areas is quite different from each other. Um, if you talk about Idlib, you see that the uh, Syrian affiliate of Al-Qaeda or spin-off of Al-Qaeda is running the place and other rather hardcore uh, jihadists and rebels. So in Idlib is sort of the repository of the hardest of the hard of the rebels and it's very hard to see uh, how they can reconcile with the regime in the future and how uh, Russia would protect them. In the Northeast, uh, it is quite different and the YPG, the Kurdish militia there, is looking very keenly at what is happening in the Southwest today uh, to say, well, you know, um, it, we know this regime, uh, the regime is, is repressive, um, it doesn't accept any kind of local autonomy or self-rule. So what is it, it is doing in the southwest today is probably what it will do in our areas. Mm -hmm.